Over the last several years, we've been uh, doing a randomized cl clinical trial uh, that compares pneumatic retinopexy, uh, which is where we inject a gas bubble into the eye, compared to uh, vitrectomy. One of the significant differences between the two treatments is that patients who have vitrectomy subsequently require cataract surgery, us usually within six months to a year. And because of the fact that many of these patients are highly myopic, it ends up that they actually eventually need cataract surgery in their other eye just to balance uh, their vision. So to summarize uh, the results of the study, we included a broad uh, range of retinal detachment patients and we found that those uh, patients who had pneumatic retinopexy first did better in terms of their final visual acuity at one year, even though patients who have pneumatic may subsequently need uh, a secondary operative procedure. Um, in 12% uh, more cases than those who had vitrectomy. Overall, the final visual acuity was still better in those patients who had pneumatic retinopexy first. So we feel that you know this study is somewhat of a game changer as vitrectomy is really the most common method of fixing both phacic and pseudophacic uh, retinal detachments. And we feel that patients who met the PIVOT uh, study criteria should be offered uh, pneumatic retinopexy before vitrectomy. When retinal surgeons are questioned, what what their most uh, common method of treating phacic retinal detachments in the U.S. It's vitrectomy. Uh, if you look at what the most common method of treating pseudophacic retinal detachments internationally, it's vitrectomy. Uh, I believe that the results of this study demonstrate that those patients who meet the inclusion criteria of this study, which are fairly broad and apply to many retinal detachments, should in fact be offered pneumatic retinopexy first, as their final visual acuity will be better with this treatment compared to vitrectomy.